accidentally deleted the very first video showing the materials. Forgive me as this was a hectic week since I was moving houses. Looks like the usual SHF bodycoon and two pieces 3D printed heads from Hansi Arts. Moving forward, we're using our SHF bodycoon and I've made some clothing for this. So I've made pants um, from two pieces dark blue uh, cotton spandex fabric and I've made a long sleeve stuff. And I also used a green fabric uh, to make a sleeveless stuff for the vest. Fast forward on the clothing, I've already finished the final measurements of the base clothing and I've painted the shins white, ready to wrap that with Teflon tape and added feet with an extra Kakashi anime heroes that I have. I want this to be pulled down and glue it onto the shorts or the pants rather so because I want the vest to be removable. So this is our working base now. Moving forward with the vest, I have a removable zipper and I wanted to use this for his vest because I want uh, my client wanted two kinds of head sculpts for this one with I think the Kakashi fighting pain. So I have this specific zipper that was very hard to find and um, recently I've been using this in all of my customs that needed open, open, openable vests. And now I have this white one for Kakashi's Jonin vest because I want it to be removable and to get that iconic look when Kakashi is fighting pain which will uh, coordinate better with the head sculpt that my client requested for it. The final part of this um, clothing is to make the collar and that uh, iconic Jonin vest. Now I've finalized my details on the base body of the Kakashi. I've added wrist straps with blue leather, synthetic leather, also for the ankles wrapped with Teflon tape and his kunai holder on the right thigh. And now I'm just going to clean it up with the right. Uh, I've also added right logos of Konoha and the Uzumaki clan. Now here is the vest looking at the vest. It looks really, really good. I think this is one of my best zone invest uh, so far by far because of the removable zipper that uh, was used in this custom. Slipping it onto the body and then making it fit. I, I made it really fit well because uh, it's a very hard, it's a very challenging task to make sure that both looks look good on the figure. Now the zipper works just like an ordinary jacket. You have a lock under and you can zip it up and it looks good. Now I know I don't have videos of the head sculpt because I lost the footage but moving forward and since I have an extra Kakashi anime heroes lying around I'm gonna give this one for my client. So this will be three head sculpts. And Hatake Kakashi custom action figure is done. So I'm very very sorry because I lost the very first footage of this custom but I may do with what little footage that I have left. Uh, looking at the figure, this is a well-rounded Kakashi figure. This is a very overdue custom that you guys have been asking for and requesting on this channel for a very long time. Looking at Kakashi, this is his very basic Jonin look. Now looking at the two head sculpts that was requested but uh, I missed the footage. Now we have three head sculpts for this Kakashi figure. The very first head sculpt is from the Anime Heroes um, figure. Um, this one is with the covered left eye. We have a 3D printed head sculpt from Hanshi Arts with the uncovered shutting gun uh, on the left. And we have the, uh, the Kakashi head sculpt without the forehead protector which was used in, which was seen when he was fighting Pain and um, Kakuzu. Now you can remove the Jonin vest by the removable zipper in the front so you can just take it off like a regular vest. And I think this is one of the best Joan Invest that I have made. Now, with the proper base, blue base uh, on the figure, he looks really, really good. I love that we can interchange the look of the Kakashi from the regular one to this. And of course, we cannot leave him out without the Chidori that is made from the hot glue and I just spray painted it with a light blue acrylic spray paint. And of course, he has a alternate interchangeable hands. I do hope you guys still enjoyed this figure and what are we waiting for? Let's jump to action poses.